every one of us at some point in time, either we've been participating in this or someone we know has been participating in this. And that is a like a, a corporate retirement plan, right? Typically speaking, it's like a 401k IRA. And I, I don't care where you stand on this, whether you like the mutual funds in yours or not, whether you think taxes are going to go through the roof in the future and it's a bad idea. Here's what I have found and, and what's helped more people, I think, get clear is that when they want to become financially free and they want to do it as fast as possible, we help them understand you got to get more money flowing to you and staying in your control than going away from you. And that is a stumbling block, Jennifer, because most of the time we've been trained to give our money away. Literally, no matter how much money we make, right? I, we work with people amazingly successful. And it doesn't matter how much money they make, they've all doing the same exact thing. They're giving their money away and, and it's not in their control. And so we use this as a really simple example because most people can see it. It's these corporate retirement plans, 401ks, IRAs, whatever they are, they're designed to accumulate money to a future date. 59 and a half is that timeline that we get access to that money or, or generically could have access to it. Most people won't touch it until they're 70 or whatever. And we say, okay, well, let's talk about that. Let's talk about how that is in direct conflict with what you want. If you tell us, hey, my goal is to be financially free in five years and I'm 40 years old. Okay, so at 45, I want to be financially free. And that means I got to have more passive income than I have monthly expenses. That's how it's defined. Then how is contributing to that qualified retirement plan helping you? Everything they're told is, but that's what you're supposed to do. You are being too risky if you don't do that. That is risk, 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 risk. You'll lose it all. You'll do this. I mean, it's like this any little committee of a lifetime of, crap really that's in their head saying no that's not what you're supposed to do i don't know where we get this from you're supposed to save be a saver you know save for your rainy day this is going to build up your money smart people do this well your job wouldn't offer this you know look at what all the 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 nice little brochures you got from hr said you know yeah. all indicating that if you're not doing that then somehow not only are you risky but you're being frivolous and you're not being smart when it's absolutely the opposite of true and the most successful people don't do any of that. The best investment one could make is in themselves. Yes. And, and, and we, we kind of talk to people about a hierarchy of wealth. Everybody probably at some point in time took a psychology class and took the hierarchy of needs and understood what that meant. Well, there's the same thing with money, right? The first level is having cash and having access to cash and having access to cash flow. But the first investment someone should make is in themselves, because that's the one thing that you can control and influence the greatest. And if you will invest there, it can have the greatest rewards. And, and for some people, what you're saying is that what if I took the $15,000 I was investing in my 401k and I invested it into a virtual assistant? It's going to get a lot better because we're learning a lot. And this knowledge that we're imparting to you right now was not as easily available five, seven years ago, except for a very small percentage of people who were using it. But people like you and me and Russ, we didn't really get to hear about this. And Russ was in the industry. I mean, he was doing this as a financial planner and he had to break out of it and, 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 and learn something new. And that was the actual industry he was in. So imagine how much more ahead he, he thought he was than you know somebody who's running a grocery store. You know what I mean? So, yeah. So Russ, in doing this and breaking free of this and putting the investment, um, what are some ways people can stop sending money away? Get there faster is all those ideas. I mean, we, we've been in this in this industry for almost 20 years. So we, we know the hacks. We understand the ways that can reduce the expenses that we want to reduce, right? Eliminate the interest expenses, eliminate the the taxes, all of those sort of things. Apply that money back toward things that we want to do, like increase lifestyle, increase our, our, our actual velocity to become financially free. But you got to have people that lean, that you can lean on that's been experienced. I mean, exactly. I, we, we use the phrase that financial advice is garbage and should be treated as such because financial advice is an opinion. 